I've covered a terrible story with regards to the conflict that's taking place in Sudan. However, there is also a very nice positive story taking place with regards to everything that is happening in there. We're going to meet the 110-year-old Sudanese refugee, Fatima, who is helping other women achieve their financial freedom. And this is from the Good News Hub, guys. Let's have a look into this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is really going to lead here. An article from the Good News Hub with the headline that Meet the 110-year-old Sudanese refugee Fatima who is helping other women achieve their financial freedom. What's what's incredible here, and I think um I think I've even covered when I was talking about Sudan in, in another in another story. I think uh, her name came up in the work that she was doing, but I can't hundred percent quite put my finger if it was actually her or somebody else, but the fact that this uh, lady is 110 years old, first of all, so she's well looked after. She's looked after her body uh, for, for, for and her mind without a shadow of a doubt and hats off to her. Is That's the first and foremost thing. But the fact that she's also going out of her way to achieve and uh, to try and help other women um, as well. And I think this is a wonderful thing, given everything that's going on right now there. Um, they need some positive positivity and some people who are out there helping and uh, and. Uh, this is a uh, really nice uh, to say the least guys so in cairo egypt and a group of refugee women meet regularly pooling pooling their money together to make financial decisions for the good of others out of 29 women fatima is by far the oldest at the age of 110. despite being a centurion fatima looks at least 40 years younger with a passion for a life to match she has been effectively given the nickname Uma, I can't say that word, sorry, by her group, which means mother. It's a fitting title, not be just because of her age. Fatima is a mother of seven. She is also the first person to open a school for girls in her hometown of Marco in Sudan. Fatima belongs one to one of many villages, uh, savings and loan associations, that's the VSLA groups, that care an anti-poverty and, and human rights charity has worked around the world since 1991. Each group has between 15 to 25 people, the majority of which are women who meet regularly to save money in a safe space. The money is used to support each other to set up business, negotiate fair prices in the marketplace, advocate for gender equality in their communities and pursue public office. By 2030, Care International hopes to have over 50 million people reach their businesses by providing training in savings, loans and financial literacy. This is awesome. I like this story. I like how the work that they are doing here. Fatima's group is called the Lil Hama El Hiwa, which is loosely translated as the best company. The group saves 100,000 EGP, that's $3,000 for US, which is equivalent to the average Egyptian annual salary. The savings allows loans to give vulnerable women, giving them financial security. One member of the group uses their entrepreneur sessions within the group to launch her own hair care range, and another took a loan to buy another hand mixer to make and sell baked goods. That's cool. There's a group of some of the ladies there. <laughs> Fatima, like many of the refugees in Egypt, is from Sudan. Due to the conflict in her home country where she lived in Cairo for 13 years, the United Nations have reported that 50% of households registering their refugees are led by women like Fatima and the members of her group. However, one day she hopes to go back to Sudan to be reunited with her children who are spread out around the world. Fatima has found a home with the women in her group. However, all my friends are gone, she said, but I'm glad I found this group of women to keep me in high spirits and good company. I, I like this. I like that um, the work that she's doing, and I like what the, the, the group care are doing, the Village Saving and Loans Association, helping lots of women out. I think this is a great story, um, with, even though there are obviously lots of issues taking place around in, in Africa right now, especially within, with what's happening in Sudan. And I, I do hope she gets to reunite with her children soon. I really, really do. Um, but out of what the work, the work that she and her women do, I think it's a lovely, lovely story. And um, long may the work continue because there's so we we hear a lot about some of the horrific stories of way of how some women are treated in parts of the world. And it's nice to know that um, outside of Europe, you're seeing you're seeing work being done. 
um, here in Egypt to, to help support and get women off their feet and hopefully give them the financial security to become something and be more than than just um, more than just some more than just a woman and to actually be be successful and be happy. Um, so this is a lovely story and uh, long may Fatima continue to live on and continue to contribute to society and continue to help those in need guys. So what do you make of this story? What do you make of Fatima and her work? What do you make of care and the organization that they've been doing guys? Let me know and share all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you found this video fascinating, and interesting, and informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share this across social media and subscribe because it really does help support the channel. So thanks so much for watching guys and I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Thank you.